before we talk about the uh, the job fair that's coming up, I want to talk about this sorority. It's it's obviously been around for a very long time. Um, what do you all do? What's the purpose of this sorority? So our sorority on a local level has been around um, for a very long time, but on a national level, it's been um, around since 1913, and it began from the women's suffrage um, mar uh, march. And our our makeup is college educated women. 22 fa our founders uh, wanted to get involved, wanted to be a part of something much bigger than themselves, and this created this movement with Delta um, Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And so um, on a local level, there are 18 of us in this chapter in Fort Smith. And our mission is scholarship service and sisterhood um, and social, social action. So we do a lot for the community. We work with other organizations, just like we're doing with NAACP. We are collaborating with them to put together this um, scholarship and career fair, which is our missions both align because we both are very much in the committee and advocate for human and um, civil rights. Uh, we both believe in education, scholarship, and service to our communities, especially those that are disadvantaged and underserved. Well, let's talk about the job fair. When is it, where is it, and, and what's gonna be happening that day? So the job fair is March the 11th, and it's gonna be at the Stevens Boys and Girls Club. And we chose that location because we felt like it was in a great location. It offered the um, amenities we needed with the computers, because our purpose of our fair is to bring access and resources to high school students that may not be aware of all of the information, scholarships that are available, FAFSA, um, deadlines, all those things, and entrepreneurship, non-traditional and traditional um, career pathways. So we're bringing all of this in one collective place so kids can come in and learn about as much as they, they can learn, plant a seed in them, some of them early, because our focus is high school students, obviously for seniors we want them to fill out the FAFSA. Hopefully we can get the parents involved in that portion because it's going to be from 1130 to 430. I will tell you based on experience when I had our two kids go through college I didn't know what FAFSA was. I didn't know what scholarships were out there so not mm -hmm. only will are you going to be addressing this with students but I would imagine that parents need to be involved in this. Yes so our primary focus is seniors um, and high school students but what we want the parents to do is bring their kids there. And then when we have our the FAFSA application actually executing that time, we want the parents there because that's a key component to filling out the uh, FAFSA. They have to input their information and income, right? And so in, for, in order for these kids to be eligible, we need the parents to be there. And they don't have to be there during the whole event because it is focused on the kids from 1130, basically to like two. Um, when they go in to register, um, on the QR code, it will pull up the schedule of events and tells them exactly when everything is going to start um, and when it's going to end. You brought up registering. Do, do you do you have to register to be able to attend this event? Not necessarily. You don't have to register. We are pushing it because there is food involved and we wanted to make sure we had enough food um, and, and enough volunteers, um, obviously, because we're also are often we have um, this flyer that is circulating. We have it also in the Hispanic um, Lat Latino um, communities. And so we want to make sure we have enough volunteers to meet the needs of everyone that's going to be there. All right. So, so how, since you do have to register, kind of, how do you go about doing that? So on the flyer, um, there is a QR code. You go in the QR code and you just simply fill out the information. Um, and then obviously it, it connects you to the Eventbrite that's, um, that it's connected to. And then we will have the information there to get a, a better idea of foot traffic and, you know, amount of people expected to come. How important is it to have these? I mean, I think it's I, just based on our conversations with other educators in the community. Um, clearly, we collaborate with and, and we wear different hats in the community with our with our jobs. And so we hear a lot of information from teachers, parents that are like just sometimes overwhelmed and completely unaware. Um, and it's important because these, these are our children and they're our future. I mean, I know that's cliche, but it's you know your children, your community. So we wanna provide as much information, access and resource to empower them to, to, go, far, to go far. 
hey, look, if I'm a parent and I've got a senior, I'm looking for every scholarship that I could find. Yes, and, and we also are going to have some amazing door prizes. We've got a laptop. One lucky senior is going to win a new laptop. And we have other door prizes that are being provided, you know, through sponsors um, and vendors that are going to be there. It's, I mean, it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be, I think, a really good um, just a, awareness for, uh, for those that come. All right, Tammy, thank you so much. Best of luck with the event. It sounds fantastic. And I did forget to say our panel discussion is going to be focused around entrepreneurship because that is also a key component. Kids want to learn how they can have their own businesses. You know, we, we're providing a, a very intentional panel discussion. You know, what's interesting about that is, is kids seem to know how to do that better online than <laughs> most anybody else. <laughs> I, that, you are correct. I learned a lot about TikTok and how in the, in the, in the way you can make money off of that. <laughs> Tammy, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.